turn around, walk away, blow town. That would have been the smart thing to do. Guess I wasn't that smart. Lupino's tenement buildings were a seedy hangout for all kinds of sleaze. A liquor store, a pawn shop, a laundromat full of mobster bookies and loan sharks. The list went on. The how and why of it was a mystery to me, but they knew I was a cop. They knew I was coming, and they were going to get real trigger happy about it. I got to see Lupino's hangout all lit up. A bomb went off, turning snow into liquid gold. A pillar of fire lifted the remains of a car straight up into the air. The flames were highlighted on the hood of a black Mercedes Benz as it coasted down the street real slow, as if the driver didn't have a worry in the world. I got a good look at the man riding shotgun. It was Vladimir, the head of the local Russian mob, the fly in Don Punchinello's soup. The ringing in my ears was the sound of a mob war being waged. exploded inside the closest slum building. It was a lucky break. The goons inside were spooked, but luck always came with a price tag. More bombs could still be ticking inside, and the cops would already be on their way. I was headlines were a depressing read. The headlines were screaming bloody murder. The storm was a screaming duet with the approaching prowl car sirens. It was all a scream when you were down for the count and wanted for murder. building was rigged with explosives.
die. A beaten up phone in the entrance hall was ringing. It could have been just a junkie in need of a fix, but it turned out to be something more sinister than that. Am I speaking to Mr. Payne? Who wants to know? My name is Alfred Wooden. You must hurry. The police are on their way. Tell me something I don't know. They know you're there. How? And what's it to you? I will contact you again. The cops arrived, sirens singing in the off-key harmony of a manic depressive choir. I had a few minutes while the SWAT team would go through their usual routine. By the time they busted in, I needed to be long gone. Max Payne, this is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. Drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head. Someone had left a letter on the counter. There was a key on the shelf. Suddenly it all made sense. The bombs, the Russian mob boss making an appearance in person. Gogniti was his usual self. All talk and no walk. After I hit, the Russian has only a couple of guns left and they can be bought. There's no freaking way he has the guts to try anything after that. As it turned out, the Russian had plenty of guts. One thing he could count on, you push a man too far and sooner or later he'd start pushing back. NYPD! Max Payne, this is Freeze. your final warning. Surrender or... Don't make us come and get you. What the hell?
The bombs had destroyed all the stairs up to Lupino's office. The alternate route led there by way of adjoining rooftops. It's never been this cold. Never ever. It's like the sky's falling. Yes, sir. It's the end of the world as we know it. And I don't feel fine. I don't feel anything. Not a thing. To get to the roof, I'd need to get to the elevator through the locked door up ahead. Shoot! I ain't... You know the clowns at the laundry? Me? No. You're no good to me then. What? No, 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 the laundry, yeah. I know him, yeah. Get me in there. Okay, okay, okay. New York City is in crisis tonight, with reports of Valkyrie-related gang war in the streets of the Bronx. Apparently, Max Payne, wanted for questioning in connection with the slaying of a DEA special agent earlier tonight, is waging a one-man war against his former partners in crime. Among the list of casualties so far are notorious Mafia members Joey and Virgilio Finito, as well as Rico Muerte, himself a fugitive from the law and a suspect for several murders in the Chicago area. The NYPD has been placed on full alert, 
A citywide APB has been put out on Max Payne. Deputy Chief Jim Bravura has promised to take whatever steps necessary to bring him to justice. What those steps may be remains to be seen. For NYCNN TV News, this is Kira Silver. This week on Address Unknown. It's always red or blue in the movies. So? Vinny got needy. Just the man I've been killing to see. Pain? Freaking fat! I knew from day one there was something screwy about you! What do you think you're doing? You're a freaking cop! You ain't got squat on us! You can't just come in here waving your peace like it meant something! Yeah! Oh my god! Oh god, you shot me! Ah! You're dead, Pain! What the hell are you waiting for, you apes? Kill him! Kill him! With pleasure, boss! Got me bailed. I made like Chow Yun fat. A crumpled letter lay on Gagniti's desk. The letter was addressed to Don Punchinello, but Vinny had never had the nerve to finish it. Jack's gone voodoo. Just the other night, he shot Dino because he wanted to see what his brains looked like splattered on the wall. He's a freaking mad dog. We're running out of men and business fast. Gagnetti had been living in mortal fear of his boss. Jack Lupino was a psycho. Vinny Gagnetti was running scared. He could run, but with a bullet in his stomach like a broken bottle of Tabasco, he was quickly running out of time. He knew where his boss was, and I wanted to square things up with Jack Lupino. Gagniti would be moving fast. I don't know about angels, but it's fear that gives men wings.
Got Needy hitched a ride. To catch him, I'd have to follow his lead. This was my second train ride of the night. The way it started didn't promise anything better than the last one. Freezing wind tearing at my face like sandpaper and razors. Ice hard and slick under my hands and feet. And somewhere in the background the wail of sirens. The city howling after me. New York sped by and fast forward. Dark rooftop water towers and a dead forest of antennas and chimneys, all a blur. When the train he was riding slowed down, Gogniti made his move. 